Oh, goody. All right, what's going on, everybody? Zombies here again, and today we're back with another Marvel Snap video. So today we're covering some decks for all pools for the current hot location, which will be appearing at a 60% rate over the next 24 hours, and that is Death's Domain. So this one reads, when you play a card here, destroy it. So pretty interesting location and definitely lends itself well to destroy decks and can also be kind of uh, teched against with a very popular early available card armor. So let's take a look at decks for all three pools that should be good for this hot location. First up, we have our pool one on reveal deck, uh, pretty similar to ones I've showcased in the past. Like we're really just running a lot of the good on reveal cards. Uh, pretty generic stuff. One cool thing about this is when you have cards like Mr. Sinister, uh, the copy that gets revealed, or the copy that gets summoned in, uh, doesn't actually get destroyed by this. Same thing with effects like Jubilee. So decks like that also can probably shine here, even if you aren't focusing on cards that can be destroyed. There's not a lot of stuff that appreciates getting destroyed in Pool 1, but I do think uh, running armor is pretty nice as it helps you circumvent the downside of the location. Or you could even run something like Scarlet Witch to kind of get rid of the location on the final turn if your opponent isn't able to play into it either. And then things that put things in other locations, such as our White Tiger here, obviously going to be good as only things played there get destroyed, not things summoned there. So pretty basic one here. Uh, as usual, Gamora and Black Panther are pretty interchangeable here, depending on if you have the season pass or not, but both are pretty good. And this should definitely be a pretty solid deck if you are looking to take advantage of it in Pool 1. Then our second Pool 1 deck here is the ever-popular Devil Dinosaur, one of the best cards in the game and one of the best cards especially early on. Again, very similar to ones I've showcased in the past. Just has a lot of the general synergy stuff going on here, where we're taking cards from the opponent's deck to make our hand big with things like Mantis, Able, Sentinel, and White Queen. And we have Moon Girl, which we can combo with the Dino to get a second Dino while keeping our hand nice and big. And we have some tech cards such as Armor to tech against the location and Cosmo to tech against other on reveal decks. On top of that, we do have Chavez to round out the curve and help make our deck a bit more consistent. Really don't think you can go wrong with this one in general. And I think it's definitely going to shine with this hot location. Moving on to Pool 2, we have an upgrade to the Devil Dino deck. Starting in Pool 2, you start getting access to cards that appreciate being destroyed a bit more, most notable of which are Bucky Barnes, who will give you the Winter Soldier when he gets blown up, so very good with the location there, and Nova, who you're naturally feeding to your destroy effects, like Carnage and Deathlock, but you can also make use of just dropping him down, having the location blow him up, and you'll be getting that plus one power across all your different units. Other than that, Core here is very similar. We do have a new addition in the Collector who gets a payoff for generating cards in the sand, which this deck is good at doing, and Agent 13 who ends up replacing Mantis as she is less conditional and helps do what the deck wants to do. Uh, you could try swapping in some other cards from the Pool 1 version, but I do kind of like this low to the ground version uh, that really just tops out the curve with our Moon Girl and Devil Dino here and has a lot of other cards that really care about the destroy effects and payoffs. Next up, we have a upgrade to our Pool 1 on Reveal deck as we move into Pool 2 here. We are going to make some additions of very, very powerful 1-drop in Sunspot. Super awesome card here. On top of that, we are also adding things like the Infinite to have a really high top end, Jubilee to cheat stuff into play, and like I mentioned before, she's really good with the location. Storm to kind of close out a location and then sometimes we can add stuff to it afterwards with our things like White Tiger and Odin re-triggering or even just having a sunspot there that grows over time. Uh, also Iceman for a bit of disruption. Overall pretty powerful deck. You could also find room for Black Panther in here uh, if you want to make use of the season pass card but overall I think the the curve on this deck is pretty good and it should do pretty well with the current location. You could also consider putting in armor if you really want to tech against opponents who are making heavy use of the destroy effects to benefit them. 
Moving on into pool three here, we have a death deck. Now there are a bunch of different flavors of death decks you can use. This is my current favorite one in the game, but if you do have access to Deadpool, he could also be a really cool one to use in a death deck as you can just keep blowing him up and having him double with the location. Unfortunately, I do not have Deadpool, so I'm making do with what I got here, but I do think this is one of the best death decks in the game and just makes use of a lot of good destroy effects to make our death cheap. Hood gives us a nice demon and we get him destroyed, defeat our death. Nova, just generically really, really good in this type of deck. Yondu reduces our death and can mill important cards. Bucky Carnage package, not much to say there. Uh, Mysterio gives us, you know, zero cost things that we can just blow up to help make the death less and help with our payoffs. Killmonger to deal with the opposing one drops and get rid of the ones we don't want on our side. Wave to combo with death so you can get down a big thing and death at the end of the game. Deathlock for more destroy consistency. Arrow to basically screw over our opponent near the end of the game when they think they can lock down a lane or close it out and then you move surprisingly, sometimes even dropping death at the same time. And Magneto for a very similar, just very powerful top end, especially when combined with death. This is my favorite version of the death deck. There are a bunch of different versions of this you could try out. I know the Taskmaster version is probably pretty good with this, with Venom. Uh, Deadpool, also very good. You can experiment a lot. Uh, just keep that core kind of destroy effect going with the Hood, Nova, Bucky, Carnage, that kind of stuff. And then Death at the top end, and you can really just kind of mess around with all the, the non-core pieces of the deck. And you'll probably still have some success with it. But yeah, I really love this one, and I think it's going to be... One of, if not the best deck in pool three for this hot location. Next up is the ongoing destroyer deck. This is definitely one of the more powerful decks in the format. And again, there are a lot of different ways you can tech this, uh, but this is the version I really like and destroyer, obviously one of your main win cons. But since we run so many ongoing effects, we have spectrum here as an alternate win con, which is really great because sometimes when your opponent's trying to play around the destroyer, they can't play around spectrum at the same time. So definitely makes the deck a bit less linear and more versatile. Other than that, we have our MVP tech card here in armor. So we can actually shut down all the decks that are trying to take advantage of the destroy effects. Just completely shut them down. Sometimes this card just absolutely wins on its own versus the destroy decks. And to help out with that, we also have Cosmo, who is very, very good against those type of decks. And Colossus, who we can just slam down. Don't have to worry about him being destroyed. Also, fun fact with Professor X here, uh, he will not be destroyed by the location if you slam him down because of his locking down the location. So that's a very important action to be aware of. Uh, but overall, very, very powerful deck. One of the best decks in the game. Uh, there is some flexibility with it. Uh, like if you don't have, let's say, Daredevil here or Mojo, uh, you can probably just put in a lot of different ongoing effects and still have decent success. I do think these ones are kind of the better version of it, uh, but you can definitely still make it work with pretty much all pool two ongoing cards and the destroyer as a top end. Then we have a pool three devil dino deck. This one comes from KM best and uh, it seems really good. Uh, I haven't played a whole ton of it, but I watched him play quite a bit of it and it definitely seems like one of the better pool three options for dino. And I think it's gonna be pretty good in this location for a lot of similar reasons as the ongoing destroyer deck. Uh, we have some very good tech here with things like armor and cosmo we have natural cards that are good for growing our dinosaur such as sentinel moon girl and white queen white queen is especially good if you're just entering pool three as she can give you powerful win conditions to steal from the opponent which is good arrow just really messes up your opponent's positioning leader helps us win if we're ahead and then the daredevil and professor x combo just super duper strong and one of the the more powerful things you can be doing in pool three in my opinion and then the last pool three deck here we have for recommending for this hot location is a pool three wong deck wong is another card like the destroyer and sarah where if you get him in pool three you can really make him work without any other pool three cards obviously he will be better with some other pool three cards but he can be very solid on his own. So this is kind of an upgrade of the on reveal deck we saw in pool one and pool two. Uh, basically the major additions here 
We have Psylocke, who, not required, but very useful. Uh, you definitely want some kind of ramp in this deck, and she helps you cheat out your four drops. And we have two very key four drops in this deck, being Jubilee to cheat something big into play, and Wong to double up our honor reveal abilities. Other than that, we just have some generic honor reveal good stuff. Iceman, Scorpion, Ironheart, Storm to lock down a location. Pretty typical stuff. Uh, we have a higher curve in this one because we're trying to cheat stuff out with Jubilee as well as Psylocke. You could also consider Wave in here potentially, but I do think Psylocke's a bit better. White Tiger, really good, helps us fight in other locations. Obviously great with Wong. Black Panther, again, if you don't have the pass, Gamora, probably a pretty fine substitute, but I really like Black Panther in this deck. Doctor Doom, one of the best pool three cards in the deck. Uh, just so, so good at helping us fight for multiple locations and helps us get around that destroy stuff. Uh, with the hot location odin for re-triggering our on reveal stuff and it's pretty nuts with wong because it re-triggers triggers twice triggers again it's pretty crazy and then magneto as our top end uh, i like magneto quite a bit in this but you can also replace him here uh arm zola really good one to combo with black panther uh leader there, there's quite a bit of stuff that uh you can use in the kind of top and here as long as you have something big or impactful to help close out the game that's what really matters but i think this one's pretty solid and uh, should do pretty well with the location again you could always tech in armor over something like scorpion if you're finding yourself running into too many decks that are really trying to abuse the hot location with some of the destroy bonus stuff that we saw earlier on in this video that's going to wrap it up for this one though let me know in the comments if you have any decks that you think will work really well with this location. I'd love to hear it. If you enjoyed it, remember to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.